Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday morning to you all. We already have a few friends here. I'm going to give it a, a few more minutes. We did have to change the live time today. Uh, thank you for being flexible with us. Um, I have a little, a little friend. My little Fally is not feeling amazing. She has not puked in a, about two hours, but it was every like 15 to 20 minutes. Um, and she wants to go home, so we're just going to do that for her. Anyway, today's live I'm actually um, really excited about. It's something that I love, and I don't think everyone really thinks about it. Um, hi, hi, Benny. Shirley said Benny says hi. Hi, Benny. Um, anyway, I don't think a lot of people think about these things when they are designing. Um, there are shortcuts. There are... There are keys on your keyboard that you can push or a combination of keys on your keyboard that you can push to make designing easier in design space. Um, now, a lot of them are similar to other commands like Command C um, or Control C if you have a PC is copy. Uh, Command V or Control V is paste. So those are pretty um, universal in different softwares. Um, but there are also some extra ones that are more design friendly. Yes. Um, so I have made a cute little graphic that, and this isn't all of them. These are, this is the design space ones that I use most. There are some other ones, but in my opinion, they take longer to use or remember than just a quick, easy click on, on, uh, or in design space. Anyway, if you are a Oak and Lamb flock member, I will share this over in the private Facebook group. Um, so you can make a sticker out of it, put it on your laptop if you want for a quick, easy, um, reference. Yeah. I have printed this out and laminated it. So easy. So easy. Yes. Um, and if you're not a flock member, but you want this, we still have a sale going on. It yes. does end on Thursday, uh, but it's our National Craft Month sale. So you can get $30 off of our annual membership using the code CRAFT30 at checkout. If you have any questions on what the membership is about, what's included, what we have to offer, ask. Me and Becca love to talk about it. Yes, we, love we do. We do love it. Anyway, so there are some keyboard actions or hotkeys, keyboard shortcuts, whatever you want to call them that we're going to go over and I'm going to show you how they work. But also there are some hidden features that some of you probably know about. We have talked about some of these before in various lives, but we thought it would be a good idea to have like one video that has like a comprehensive collection of all of our favorite hacks and shortcuts for design space. Now, if you're watching this in two years, these these might change, FYI, because design space is ever evolving. They're changing things up. Um, they move things around. So if if you're like that's not on mine, let's think of a couple of things. One, do you have the most current software um, that we're using today? Like if you if you're having these questions in current time, you don't see it in your version of design space. Is your version of design space current? Mine is the most current. Um, two, are you on an iOS device or a tablet? So are you using a uh, app version of design space or are you using the desktop version or not the desktop? Well, yes, the desktop, um, version of design space. So think about those things. Um, for the purposes of this video, I am using a MacBook pro. So anytime I say command V or command S or command whatever, and you are using a PC, a windows based computer, um, then you need to insert control instead of command. And I do have a little note on that on the bottom of this sheet. Yeah. Let's show that on the second camera. Okay. Look how cute yeah. this is. I almost oh. didn't do it like this because this is an iPad and I didn't want there to be confusion that these were keyboard commands for iPads. However, um, I would think if you use a keyboard with your iPad, then you could still use these commands. So um, anyway, just cute and concise. Like I said, this is not the entire list. It's just the most useful in my opinion. Um, but I think it's good for referencing, especially these, because uh, for whatever reason, I can't really <laughs> remember some of those. Um, so we'll go over it in just a second, but the we do have a quick action for copy. We have a quick action for paste. We have a quick action to select everything on our canvas. 
We have a quick action for grouping selected artwork. So say for instance, I have two squares and I wanna group those together, I can do that. I can also ungroup really quickly with a few key hits. Um, the undo action, I do a whole lot. Redo action, um, hiding design space, which honestly, uh, you don't really need to do a lot. It's very easy to minimize design space. Um, but again, if you like to click buttons, there's a really quick, um, key, uh, sequencing for that. And one reason that you might want to hide design space is if you are doing a print and cut project and want to hit the use system dialog box. So you have to kind of hide or minimize design space in order to pull up that dialog box for the print dialog box. Um, so there's that quick action. And then also to save our work, um, there's a quick action there, but this is one that I just stumbled upon and I thought it was very interesting. I was searching Cricut, um, to see if they had a comprehensive list of shortcuts and things like that for design space. And I still cannot find one. You can find these from all different sorts of crafters, cricketers, um, but I couldn't find one directly from design space, but I, I, I or a Cricut. I don't know why they've not done that. Um, but these shapes, you can click one button. You can click the number one. Well, and I'll show you in just a second. Once you have selected the basic shape tab one time, once you've opened design space and selected it one time, um, then you can hit one, you could hit two, you could hit three, you could hit four or five, all the way up to nine and get the corresponding shape with that it. That is so, so we'll, cool. We'll look at all of that, but um, it's just a fun little reference. Are there any questions about anything before I move over to my computer and start showing the things that we're going to be talking about today? No one has said anything. Okay. Kim is here, and this I is kind can. of a general question. Yes. She said, um, for some reason, I'm not getting offset to work. Is anybody else having problems? So, Kim, are you using a desktop computer, desktop or laptop computer, or are you using an iOS device? Let us know. Because if you're using an iOS device, it's not available for an iOS device. And I don't understand why. I don't know why yeah. they can't make that a capability. Um, hopefully, that's something that, that they consider changing in the near future. Um, they, can, they can make a list, but it would cost $169 to purchase. Megan, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> um, this is going to be fabulous to have a reference. Yes, Lorraine, you're welcome. Just popped in. What am I looking at? Uh, Liz, you are looking at a cheat sheet for hotkeys or keyboard commands in design space. And we're going to go all over all of them in just a second. Um, but this will be available in the private Facebook group. So you can grab it in just a little bit if you want it. I know you are an Oak and Dan member. Um, okay. She is using a laptop. Kim, that's very interesting. Make sure um, what I would do first is delete the design space app on my computer, um, restart your computer, reset your browser histories, all of those things, and then reinstall the app and see if that helps because it should be an active feature for you. If everything is current, uh, on your computer. Um, yeah, I was, ha Kimberly says I was having issues with offset last week. It was definitely design space issues. Yeah, I, it normally is, but normally reinstalling the app or updating it helps. So, okay. So, are we on overhead or my computer? You're on overhead right now. Okay, let's go to my computer and we'll just pop into design space. Thank you, Rachel. Of course. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is talk about some features in design space that you may not know about. Again, we have gone over some of these in the past, um, but hopefully we have some new cricketers watching this and this can be very beneficial to them. One thing that I find absolutely amazing and I didn't know about it until probably a year ago. I had been cricketing for a while before I knew that you could do this. If you have a project here in on this canvas in design space, we'll just throw something up here for the sake of it. Um, and you go, you want to say, for instance, this was like a really intricate mandala or something like that. It was going to take a while to cut. And I wanted to go ahead and cut it, but I also wanted to make another project. I can do that. 
I can do that um, if I have two different Cricut machines or even three different Cricut machines, I can cut from more than one machine at a time by coming up to file and pressing new window. And then you can see that we have two Cricut design space windows open. Um, so I could be creating another project in this window while this one cuts out. And then if I happen to be finished, um, creating this project, this one's still cutting out and like, okay, I can go ahead and make this project. Uh, then I can connect to another Cricut machine if I have one and do that simultaneously. So that is a time saver for sure. Um, again, to do that, you just go to file right here in design space, new window, super easy. Um, another thing that we love, say for instance, I have this heart, I want to create an offset and I press apply. I want my offset to be white, but I can't really see what's going on, especially if this is smaller. I can't really see the white on it because my background is white. Um, what I like to do is come down to the bottom right hand corner. And I kind of think this is a little clunky. Does it not feel clunky where it is? Yeah. I feel like if I'm going to hit the blank canvas button right here, then I should also be able to change the color right here. I agree. I think it, and again, with all the updating that Cricut Design Space does, you would, you would think that this would be a little simplified, but it's, Instead, I look up here, and if you didn't know this was here, you would think that this was not a window that was highlighted, yes. that you could select it, because yes. it's it sort of looks white, whited out, washed, whatever, yeah. out like the other ones. But you can actually click that little button right there and change the color so that your canvas is a different color, and then the design you're working with really pops. Um, it's super easy to, to go back and undo that as well. So that's a good option. The other thing, there are two, well, there are more than, there's more than one way to do a lot of things here in Design Space, but if you wanted to change the grid here in Design Space, you could come up here to the hamburger menu. That's what we call this, hamburger menu, and then you would go to settings and change your grid options. Full grid, partial grid, no grid. However, they've made it even easier for us and they deactivated this feature for like 2.5 seconds and I think they heard Rachel's moans and groans over it. I think it so. And reactivated it, it just really for her. It really affected me. Yes. I was, you know, it was very, very, no, I did not like that. Even more easy to change this is by coming right here, which is currently um, looking a little bit odd. Did you see that line that was like right here and it should have, very interesting. Anyway, you just click it one click with your mouse and you can switch through the different grid options. So I absolutely love that. Um, now let's talk about some design features. I'm going to just throw in a text box right here and what can I type? I don't even know. Hello, create. Well, I need a couple of lines. Hello there. Pour yourself oh, a there you go. cup of ambition. I'm looking at the sign over our yep, yep, coffee yep. bar. Um, say I wanted to ungroup this and then I wanted to work with each individual line of text. I can do that. Generally what I would do is just come up here and press ungroup. And then I would have to select all of these, group them together, select all of these, group them together, which is not a big deal unless you have a ton of lines of text. However, the easier way to do that is to come right here where it says advanced. And then I'm going to press ungroup to letters or lines. So I don't know why you'd want to ungroup to letters because that's literally just ungrouping. Yeah. It doesn't really make sense to me. Um, but ungroup to lines automatically groups these lines for me. So I love it leaves that. The, it leaves the lines, this, which again, I, I just love that. It leaves the lines as they are, but it ungroups all of those separately so you can move them around. It is so convenient. I love it. I love so, it. so many times have I ungrouped to layers over on the right top of the layers panel and then regrouped together the lines because I didn't know any better. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It, it's funny because you get in the habit of doing things in a specific way and even sometimes I'll catch myself doing that same thing knowing that this feature is there just because I'm in the habit of doing it that way. Um, 
So that options. Are, are there any questions about any of these things? I don't want to move on too quickly if there are questions. You're about blowing them. people's moms. Okay, so that's no, good. No questions. That's good. No questions. Okay, here's another thing um, that we we actually have just recently learned about. We learned it from you all in the past. If you have downloaded a font from a a different website and you you go to install it on your computer, so I've installed it on my computer. I already had Design Space open. In the past, we have taught that you have to save your project, you have to X out of Design Space, and you have to reopen Design Space, so relaunch Design Space. Well, uh, we have been told, and it does work, we have tried it, that if you come up to view and press reload, then it does the same thing. So you can just reload without having to X out um, and then uh, come back in. I didn't say, what was what was the uh, trick, Rach? Because I didn't save that. And so when I opened it back up, it didn't. It was just to save it. it but I thought somebody said that it, that it saved it for you. After you click save, it opens it, it back opens it. So up. you do have to save, okay. Yeah. Which again is why, but the thing was, we thought it just like opened up a tab and even though after you click refresh, it was you'd new. have to go like find your project. But if you save it, <clears> it <throat> keeps it right there, which is much easier than like closing Going to the find app it and opening and, yeah. the app again. So clicking yeah. refresh after you've saved a project does save time. For so, sure. okay, so before I, I had this text on here, I just pressed reload, it came back up, it didn't have anything on here. So now I'm going to just save. And then press reload. And you can see the title of the project is saved right there. So uh, if what we were saying isn't clear, then now there's a visual uh, for what we were talking about. So that's really nice. And then here's another thing that we love to talk about. Um, I'm going to show you really quickly how to do this. However, we have a member only video that is very detailed. If you bring in a font, let me see here. That's a thick font, Subway. Um, and you want to use this to, draw, you want to use your Cricut to draw this text, then it's not going to fill in any of the text. It will look like this right now. The Cricut will only draw this line right here. So one hack that we love, again, this video is a member only video for Flock members. Um, we love to fill a font. So you fill it with the offset and instead of doing the traditional offset, it's, I think they should call this an inset. I think so. Yeah. Maybe we should just make that the word. Yeah. Um, so you're just going to fill with insets like this there we go to create these new lines it remembers that you wanted it to go mm -hmm. inset instead of offset so every time you click offset it kind of automatically does it which is super fun too so you fill until until you're finished like that and then you're going to select all of them press attach and your Cricut will draw all of those lines and fill it in now this does work better with a thicker marker but again we have it, it looks really really good I in the video really that we did it it's really really good honestly there are other hacks out with like how to uh, using a pattern that has lots of lines and then like slicing your text out of the pattern and attaching it and all those things um which work but in my opinion this is just easier because then i don't have to go find the pattern and slice and do all of those things so um that's the other one now becca where can our amazing members find the member only videos Okay, that's a great question. Right now they are, we have a playlist and when you get your welcome email, the playlist is, is the link to the playlist is in your welcome email, but we also have them posted in the private Facebook group under our pinned um, or featured videos. Let me go over there really quickly. And I will show you eventually, actually I probably should go ahead and do it now. I have been just posting each one individually, but I should probably post just the entire playlist for you all so that you guys can go in um, because we're getting to where we have quite a few. So right here under featured, you can see we have our member only video here, one here, here. There's lots of them in here now. 
And then, like I said, we'll, we'll probably condense that down just for the playlist. But our member only. Oh, we have a member request. We'll have to look at that one. Um, so back to design space. Let's talk about the uh, shortcut actions really quickly. Yes, Rachel. The filifont. Yeah. Melissa would like to know, does this work for the Cricut foil quill? It does. It, we also have a video on that. That's a member only video. Haha, ha, we're full of them. Yeah. We're full of yeah, them. Yeah, it does. And work. then this was a question from Miss Penny, and I don't personally know the, the answer to it. Okay. Uh, but maybe some of our viewers can help as well. She says, Does anyone know if I do not renew with Cricut Access, do I lose everything I have made? You I don't. Mean all your saved projects? Correct. I, I would think you do because you lose access to the files. To the, yeah. And if you're using those files, I don't know how it works with projects that you've. For instance, if you used our files to, to save a project, that's a great question. I don't yeah, know that. I don't know either. So maybe someone uh, who maybe has cricket access who did has canceled cancel it. Or, yeah. yeah, let us know what you guys think. I'm eager sure. to know that as well. That's a great question. Okay, so I'm going to skip down really quickly and show you all the shapes really quickly, and then we'll use the shapes to kind of work with some of the other commands. Um, go to the overhead really quickly. Can you see my keyboard? I can't move it too yeah, much. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Oh, I can move right here. So when I'm talking about, for those of you, I, I don't, I'm not insulting your intelligence. I'm just giving thorough instructions. When I talk about command, this is the command button. Let me see if I can autofocus this a bit better. Okay. Okay. Much better. There's yeah. two command buttons. There's one here, one here. You can use either one. Totally fine. Just like there are two shift buttons. I don't think I've ever used the shift button in my life. Or this command button. I get it's very interesting. Do you, which shift button do you use, Rachel? I use the one to the left. Oh, I'm interested. Yeah, I've never used this shift button. I don't use. Yeah, I don't use that one either. Or or the command. Or button, this for that option. Matter. I don't know why they're over here. Do you, any of you all use them? I don't know why they're over here. If I don't use them, right? I, you know, I, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so when I say command, it's here. When I say command, if you are just jumping on and you have a PC, when I say command. And you have a PC, it's control. So I don't, not control. Yes, control. I don't know where control is on your, uh oh. Um, yeah, Fally's throwing up. Rachel's going to be a, a peach. Um, so when you pull up design space, um, if you look at the sheet, then it has one with a square, two with a circle, three with a triangle, four with a diamond, five with a pentagon, six with a hexagon, seven with a star, eight with an octagon, nine with a heart. Um, you can't just start pushing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on the keyboard in order to get that to work. You have to first, let me switch over really quickly. You have to click on the basic shapes to activate that before you can start clicking those buttons. Um, so, to do that, it's literally just clicking shape or shapes right here, just like that, just to kind of let it know that you want to talk about shapes, which I think it should be automatic, or I could press command one or command two or something like that without having to hit that basic shapes button. But once I've activated that sort of already, now what I just do is push one on my keyboard, literally just one, and that square comes up. Two, the circle comes up three, the triangle, four, and so on and so on, one through or one through nine. So I think that's really neat. Um, I'm going to look at the comments really quickly and see if there's any questions about them. Um, okay. Guys, Rachel is such a pal. She's like cleaning fountains throw up. She, she did throw up in a ball, <laughs> but thank you. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> Um, so now that we have some basic shapes here, we can kind of talk about the other features. Um, what I'm going to do first is copy this one. Now you can do this so many different ways. You can right click on it and you can press duplicate or you can press copy and paste or you can press, press duplicate up here. But I like to press command C, which is copy command V, which is paste just like that. And you can do multiple shapes at one time, command C, command V, just like that. Um, 
You can also paste to front and back. I don't really find that useful um, unless I'm in Illustrator. Like here in Design Space, I don't really find that useful. So that's why I didn't include it. Um, if I wanted to select every single thing here on my canvas, instead of just dragging and selecting like this, I can press Command A and it selects every single thing on my canvas. Once I have that selected, I can press Command G to group it together. How cool was that? I'm gonna press, I'm gonna undo so we can do it again. Oh, I'm bringing up Final Cut because I'm getting click happy here. Okay. So you can select that way or Command A for all. And then again, I can just press group up here or Command G to group it. Now, if I want to ungroup, then I just press Shift Command G and it doesn't matter if you press shift or command first, to be honest. Um, you just have to push them along with G and it ungroups. So command G to group, shift command G to ungroup. And then we have, let's see here. Let's say for instance, I weld these together and I'm like, oh man, that's a terrible shape. I don't like that. I want to undo it. I can push the undo, undo button up here or I can press, press Command Z to undo it. If I say, oh, you know, I really did like that shape. Let's, let's go back. Then I can push the redo button up here. Liz said that Control Z or Command Z is my best friend. Yes, yes, it's so good. Is there a list of these commands somewhere, Becca? Yes, I made a cute little graphic for our flock members today, and it will be shared in the private Facebook group right after this live. Um, and you guys can print it off. I laminated ours. You can make it small for a little sticker on your computer, whatever you want to do. Um, but it will be available for flock members for sure. Um, a couple other things really quickly. Uh, we have Command H. Okay, hang on. Your computer yes. went, she went black. Did it go black? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's funny because I did nothing. Let me re... That's fine. We'll, we'll give her a minute. Yeah. I'll switch to the second camera so you okay. can see that beautiful cut out the bag of made again. <laughs> go. It's a sheep purdy. If we can't get it back on, I only had two more and I can just tell you what they are. Um, Becca said before the live, this would be a, a horrible, horrible live for the... Uh, Unit to go out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. My video card in my computer, for those of you who don't know, the video card in my computer does not love me. And so we have to use this like CPU unit or something um, to get it to work and it's not working. So really quickly, let's, let's reference our nice paper here. <laughs> the last two are Command H, which hides design space, which is also sort of like minimizing it. Um, again, if, if you just came on, I like to do that. Well, you have to do that when uh, you have activated the print system dialog box through Design Space. So really quick to, to kind of hide Design Space. And then to save your work, Command S. So do, just get in the habit of hitting Command S as you go along. Uh, that way it saves it. If your computer locks up or something happens with Design Space, you won't lose all of your progress. Two quick, easy buttons and you're done. Um, but again, there are other commands I just don't find them super useful. Um, oh, I just thought of something else I wanted to show, but I can't. <laughs> this unit hates me. It was the only other thing that I wanted to talk about was holding in shift while you rotate an item. Let so me that, switch it to you. Okay. Too. You kind of if you hold in shift on your keyboard while you rotate an item with your mouse um, or trackpad, whichever, then it will rotate at I think it's 45 degrees like angles. locked into yes. rotating in little yes. increments so you can get precise angles while you're rotating which is really nice um are there any questions about any of those things please let me know you've uh, blown some minds today yeah, I loved it good good that's amazing um not design space related but control p is print yes it is absolutely um Hence, needing another button on the right side of the keyboard. I don't still. I just keep doing. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Um, There's too many keys on the keyboard. We need to, I guess, write a letter. Like, can you? 
fix yeah. the keys off of this? GPU not disconnected properly. Well, no crap, because I didn't disconnect it. <laughs> no crap. <laughs> My computer hates me. Um... What was the great, I am command S obsessed for everything on my Mac. Yes. Yes, Melissa. That's, that's what you should be. I can't tell you how many times an illustrator doesn't do it quite as bad. It doesn't lock up on me like design space does, but I've like worked and worked and worked and worked on a cut file and then something happens to my computer and bam, mostly, and this is my own fault. Mostly it's because I like to like, <laughs> did I talk about this on a live or was it just with you? I don't know. I can't remember. I like to about. like fight time. If I know that my computer is going to go to sleep in like 10%, then I'm like, I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to, instead of plugging it up, I'm going to speed through and get this cut file finished really quickly. And that literally puts a, I, my stomach hurts thinking about doing that right this very second. <laughs> I cannot do that. Well, it, it has bit me in the butt a couple of times because I just lost everything because I didn't save it, which is silly. Um, I'm so lost. My customer decided to call me during your live and have no chance to look at the video. So frustrating. Go back and rewatch it, Romo. And then we also have this that you can reference. Um, I'll post it in the private Facebook group. Um, what was the rotate again? If you hold in shift, I wish I could show you. I wish this would work. If you hold in shift, when you have an object selected, it has a little arrow button where you rotate. If you, Hold and shift while you rotate that, then it will lock it into specific uh, degreed um, angles, like rotations. Um, do I have one of these for, do you mean AI, Adobe Illustrator? If so, then yes, we do have one. I've shared it in the private Facebook group as well. Um, There's a lot going on in that Facebook group. Yes. Lots of member only perks for you all because we love you and we want you to succeed and have really easy crafting experiences. Um, are you okay, Sally Wally? What is it? Is it Sprite? Yeah, you can open it. It might help your belly. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I'm being mommy right now. Um, not to discuss a different subject, but Becca, y'all need to plan a trip to Mansfield, Texas around St. Patrick's Day for Fallon. They have the Pickle Parade and a Pickle <gasps> Queen pageant follow. Oh. Could you be the Pickle Queen in the Pickle Queen pageant? Oh, uh -huh. she is she excited. Said, uh -huh. I haven't seen her this chipper all oh, morning. No. What would you wear to a Pickle Queen pageant? A dress. A dress. A dress, of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what else would, would it have pickles on it or would it be like green and sparkly? Pickles. 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 Oh, yeah. come here for a second. Let them see you. Where's your sock? You have one sock and the other is <laughs> half <laughs> your on. Your sock is half on. She's in her uniform because she literally got, can you jump? Got in the car and threw up all in my car. That was fun. Um, show them. Can you show them your new smile? Eek. Look what did you lose? Tooth. What did you lose last night? I lose my tooth. She lost her tooth. Yeah. What do you think about it? The teacher gave me money. How much money did they give you? Two. Two dollars? Two dollars. What are you going to do with that? Not a lot. <laughs> what are you going to do with those two dollars? Not a lot. Are you going to save it? Yeah. 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 Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Since you tossed your marshmallows. Yeah. Were there marshmallows in it? Not whole. Oh, okay. My good. whole marshmallows. <laughs> shoot them up good. <laughs> oh, Fallon, uh, Miss Melissa says that you looked amazing for the daddy-daughter dance. Oh. She saw your picture. She's smiling. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. That is where to be the ONL Flock member Facebook group. You are right, Melissa. Um... Anyway, thank you all so much for being here with us today. Thank you for pivoting, uh, for us to pivot so last minute. We still have 80 watching. I feel like that's not bad. You all no, are amazing. No. You well, we'll amazing. see how many we have tomorrow because, unfortunately, our live tomorrow is at 9 o'clock in the morning Eastern time. Yes. I have an OB appointment an hour away, um, not too long after that, so I have to skedaddle. So a 9 o'clock live or no live? And we thought, let's just see what happens can we watch on a it? 9 o'clock yeah. live. So if you want some really fun tips on using resin pigment 
then watch that tomorrow. It's going to be a really fun live. Yeah, it will be. Yeah. So yeah. Um, if you're awake or if it's not the middle of the night, we would love for you to be here tomorrow at 9 Eastern. I'll be here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Have a fantastic day, everyone. Again, Rachel has mentioned it, but if you have not joined the flock and want to do that, you do have until Thursday to do it at that discounted price. So uh, make sure you grab that coupon code and get in for $30 off the annual price, which is already a great um, value. It's a, it's a great price. So uh, let us know if you have any questions. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Have a great day.